it's Christine the Haunt Girl here with my husband Jeremiah who's driving. We are in Atlanta this weekend visiting, seeing haunted houses and escape rooms and we just left submerged at uh, Ultimate Escape Games in Atlanta. So they were really cool there. The customer service was great. I called because Probably we the were best in Atlanta. Not only great, but really the best that we saw anywhere. In yeah. The state. I called because we were in the middle of booking and something went wrong and then I called to make sure that we had got the booking and lo and behold we didn't. Someone else had booked at the same time and we didn't get the booking. So she went ahead and put us into a different game, just the two of us, their premiere game called Submerged and um, just really above and beyond wonderful customer service and then tried to help us find a restaurant and just really great. Yeah, really great customer service. She wasn't our game master, unfortunately. Um, he was fine. Um, but the game itself was very pretty. It was a submarine. And in the submarine, oh. when you get... Ooh, ooh. Let's try not to have a car accident on the vlog. <laughs> so, uh, was it a submarine? Really you still... What is happening? Is everyone trying to get off at the same place? Apparently, but they all guy, have to be in front of you to do it. I know. <sighs> Look at that happy face. Such a happy driver. <laughs> Atlanta. Atlanta. <laughs> so, what was I saying? Oh, submerged. You start out in an elevator going down to a submarine, and then you get on a submarine and you get this backstory where you have to get out of the submarine. And it's really well done as far as the aesthetics. It's pretty, the set is good, the props are great. Everything's really sturdy too, which is awesome. Because I hate when things feel like they're gonna break. It's good, it, looks, it all looks pretty good. The puzzles were not, not sure. the same as what we're used to, which is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. They were very different ways of thinking, which I thought was really cool. And it was much more immersive and interactive, and it's what I really want in a game. But I was really confused most of the game on what I was doing next, partly because I think I just didn't understand the system that was explaining what to do next, which you pretty much figured out. Yeah, it was all kind of, without, it doesn't give anything away, but everything's, you're kind of guided by this, um, this computer that's very similar to how from uh, Turn right Oh, that Kubrick right. film, uh, Space Odyssey. And this computer system is kind of guiding you in what you need to do. So you can't really play the game without interacting with this system. And I was interacting with the system, but I didn't always understand how it worked as far as giving us what we were going to next. So a lot of the time I defaulted to him to say, well, what are we working on now? And then once I got the puzzle, then I was fine. I could do the puzzles. I just couldn't figure out what was next because I just didn't think that way. Um, which I found very frustrating, but at the same time, I still really liked the fact that the game was really immersive and I really enjoyed the types of puzzles that they did. I thought that was really great because um, so many of the Atlanta games that we have played have been more like um, code breaking and math and oh really boy, we found another cipher right is that a cryptex for the 16th time it is I mean, Hooray! it's been some less than creative thinking so far in puzzle design so this room was refreshing in the sense that the puzzle design was really clever unique and different um, I can't speak to whether or not everything was logical because to me some of it didn't make sense but again it didn't make sense to me either though there were jumps in the puzzles that I thought but that doesn't wrong. mean that there are really jumps in the puzzles because we're just two people right and the style was different than what we're used to so it really could have been us in this situation and I think it there's a good possibility it might have been us I mean we we literally were down to the wire and trying to do something and something was like simply put in place wrong and we just didn't realize it and didn't understand that we should have realized it when it was very clear once we did realize it that we didn't realize it if that makes sense and we did I think technically finish the game we, we, we finished the game like three seconds yeah, I mean, after was, the 
the buzzer. They let us like go ahead and put the do thing it. In there and see the but final but yeah. It was, but it was really interesting and unique. Um, I think they did a really great job. I think the design was really well done. I think it was super immersive. I really love the computer. I love the the comedy in the room. I love the storytelling in the room. I thought it looked really great. There's only one puzzle that I really, really didn't like, and that was just because I really hate that style of puzzle. But they did it better than most. And when when you play, you'll you'll see it. But I mean, overall, there's only I mean, when there's only one puzzle in the in the whole game where you're like, I've seen that so many times, I'm tired of it. That's not a big deal, really. It's probably not even worth mentioning. But too late. I've already mentioned it. It's on the recording. Um, anything else that you can you can think of? No. Overall, it's it was a it was a very good game. I mean, it was probably the top one in the Atlanta area as far as. A game as a whole actually being a game and puzzles that were yeah. actually interesting to do and that were different that you know I think it was definitely if not the top one of the top games overall um, the the storytelling I thought was just incredibly well done I think that they definitely take the cake on storytelling, yeah, storytelling. and um, and creative thinking critical thinking puzzle design that sort of thing um, it's not it's definitely not boring no, it's I, not I was boring. I was running around a little bit more than I normally normally we kind of stroll through games and kind of do stuff I was kind of jumping back and forth and like okay we got to do this we got to do this. Where, where's the thing oh we forgot that let's get it I gotta go back to that and so that was much more um that was much more active than we normally are in games, which yeah. is good. That means that we were challenged, and we were, otherwise we would have blown through it, and we didn't. So I, it's challenging and fun and immersive and good storytelling and really interesting, unique puzzles, possibly some logic leaks, but we're not 100% sure that that was them. So that could have been us, just not understanding things. But if you end up um, playing it, message us. And please let us, let us know, know. If there you saw there were any logic leaks. Yeah, I would love to know Jumps because we didn't have sense to you or... we didn't have a whole lot of time to talk to the game master because of the situation. They threw us into the game when it wasn't really a scheduled game, so they had, they had to, to keep going them. and they had to reset. They had to, get, they had to get out of there, so we didn't really have time to sit and chat after the game with them because they were so busy. And which is great. Congratulations to them for having popular games and busy rooms because that's that's wonderful. We love to see that in escape rooms. We want everyone to thrive and do well in this industry so it keeps growing. So that's great. Um, yeah, so that's it. How many roads go this way? I think they all, all do. All of them. <laughs> all right. Um, if you like this video, please give me one of these and subscribe and check out my blog, thehauntgirl.com.